I'm gonna try to record this video while my kids are up, so wish me luck. This is my update number two to my makeup use up for 2016. Oh, and then also the progress pictures I'm gonna put at the end of this video. I find it easier for me when I go in to edit. Today's May the 11th, it's Wednesday, and I wanna have this up by Thursday, so. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to jump right into it because I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to start off with the foundations because you can't see the progress in them. I tried to put them in hot water, like these two glass jars, but it just doesn't move down. I don't know. And then I tried holding them up to a light. If you know how to figure out where you're at with these glass bottles, let me know. I can't tell you though, I have not focused on this foundation. I think I've used it twice mixed in with this foundation, so not even very much of it. This is the L'Oreal True Match in W7. I've used it a couple times. Because I have weekly makeup baskets as well, is I, instead of focusing on all of the foundations, I'm trying to focus out on one foundation at a time because I just, I don't know why, why I put three foundations in this project. I'm not sure. Magic Lumi is what I have in my current weekly makeup basket. So I will be using this for the next two weeks. This is what I am wearing on my face today. It's really pretty. I like the luminous uh, finish that it gives me. I'm trying it with different uh, primers and setting it different ways to make it work for me. Because although it's not even that cold, it's not hot yet. It's still a little bit on the cool side. Uh, I still get very oily with this foundation. Like, whew. Even more so than with the bare skin one. This one just, I looks like a grease ball. And I don't know. I'm trying to play with it right now because I like the initial finish of the foundation. But anyways, I'm using that one right now. And then the bare skin, bare minerals. I used this in my last weekly makeup basket. And I used it consistently for two weeks, Monday through Friday. And I found a way to actually make this work. I put any kind of primer that I want underneath, put this foundation on, and then stack the powder where I normally get very oily. That seemed to control the oils for me in my T-zone area. For some reason, that's not really working with this foundation. I'm not sure why. And then I have the Stila One Step Correct Primer. This, I started down here at the bottom of the plastic. I don't know if you can see it. And then now I'm uh, right up here. So it's a really good progress. I use it underneath foundations. I don't consistently use this primer. I forget to use it. I don't know why. Uh, but sometimes what I do is I do actually put it over top of my moisturizer, even without a foundation, just to add a little extra layer of moisture and you know protection from the environment. I don't know if it works, but I've been doing that just to get some use out of it. I have my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I've been holding back from using this concealer, so you're not going to see a lot of progress because I don't want to finish it just yet. <laughs> and that's so funny because when I started this project, I did not like this, this concealer, which is why I put it in this project so I could just get rid of it. And now I love it. And... I'm just so sad. I'm holding back, actually. My last progress was right up here. Initially, I thought I was up here when I started the project. I don't know, man. I'm confused at this point because I know before this project, I had only used it one, maybe two to three times. I really hadn't used it very much. And then when I started pushing product down, when I did the first update, it was like down to here. And I know I had not used it that much in a month. Like, there's no possible way. Maybe I did. I don't know. But anyways, this is my last update right over here. And now I'm right below the gold line. So I've been holding back. That's why. Otherwise, this, this product would be completely done. But I'm trying to make it last as long as possible because I don't want to finish it. Don't judge me. Uh, then I have the Stila Illumin, Illumin, hold up, Illuminating Powder, uh, Foundation Refill. This is in 60 watts. I had to repress this, and I have this on my face today to set the foundation. Um, just the outer parts of my face, my T-zone, I set it with a different powder, but, uh, had to repress it. I initially started off with about, I don't know, like this much pan. And it started coming off, like the ends started com coming off, like crumbling off. So instead of me trying to, I, I wasn't trying to lose any of the product. I just repressed it. I'll have the, the intro picture, the update one. And then um, when I reset it and then this update, uh, I'll have that at the end of the video. So I have been using it consistently. The NARS 
I, I've actually um, given it a little bit of a break. I don't know why I haven't been reaching for it as much. But anyways, the pan is still there. Um, I think I have a little bit more showing. There's like a little line up there if you can see it. What I'm doing now is not focusing on this part. I'm focusing on the ends because uh, if whenever I kept putting my brush into the center, it started off, it started coming off um, like paper flakes. Uh, so I don't know how I would go about repressing this. If you guys have used this powder and have used it completely up in a project pan or project use up or whatever, let me know because I don't know how to go about that. But still using it. The Bronze Booster from Physicians Formula. These are This is the one with the little beads. It's no longer beads. <laughs> I said in my last update that if I was getting annoyed with it too much, I would remove it off of the project. I don't want to remove it because I like... The finish that it gives me now this bronzer I can't really use I mean I can use it on its own if I'm wearing very minimal makeup because it's so subtle on my skin it does show up but it shows up very little and clearly I like to be bronzed up so I put it over top of a darker bronzer I actually brought this one up to my cheeks today kind of like a blush I did put a blush on top of it but anyways I put it as an all-over glow I also put it on my shoulders my chest to give me a glow the finish of this is really really pretty because it gives you very glowy skin so I like that but the beads were driving me insane so I put it in a Ziploc bags and I grabbed you know my rolling pin and I started just going to town with this powder man and now it has a line I can't even get it down but Anyways, I put a line right there. I know it's right above, but once everything settles, it comes down to here. And I have been using it. How do you guys get this stuff down? There you go. It's crooked, but whatever. It's right there. And I have been using it almost on a daily basis um, as a bronzer. And again, you know, just to add a little bit of glow to the skin. It's really, really pretty. And I'm actually really happy that I crushed it because now, you know, I'm not hating the, the product when I'm using it. I have my Coralista blush and let me see if I can get it in here very closely and I don't know if you guys can see that little that dip right in here that is where I'm focusing my brush and this product doesn't really show up too much on my cheeks so I use it as an all-over glow um, kind of like a highlight what you like kind of like you would use a highlight I guess you could say and I put it basically on the tops of my cheekbones focus on me Are you trying to play with me right now camera what's going on uh, I put it on top of my cheekbones just to add some kind of a glow I put it on my little clavicle bones is that what it's called I put it on my shoulder I put it basically everywhere and the actually the brush that I've been using is a brush that I don't like but I've been using this brush because dude I use this this blush all the time and you could barely see any progress like at all so I've actually been using this lap to make me blush it's so dense like this brush is so dense I don't like it so I never used it and then one day it just clicked I said why don't I why don't I use a very dense brush with this product because it's very it's so packed in I was not seeing any progress I was using my Sonia Kashuk uh, brush but I think the br this brush is way too soft I needed something more dense to really grab a hold of the product so I grabbed something a little bit more dense and that's how I've been able to see a dip in this product so that makes me super excited my Laura Mercier Lotus Pink and it's not really much of a difference from last time I'm not going to show you a close-up because I really haven't been focusing on this blush. It's not my favorite. The way it sits, there's some blushes that just kind of melt into your skin tone, you know, and it just kind of almost looks like it's a part of your skin. This one looks very, I don't know, fake. <laughs> That's so funny because I'm clearly, you know, my cheeks don't have this kind of glow on a regular basis. But you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't sit very well on top of my skin tone, and I'm not... I'm just not a fan of it so um I've used it a couple times not very much to be quite honest with you but every time I do use this blush I put another blush over top of it like something with uh, that has a bit more of a sheen to it like Coralista uh, just to make it work I have this oops I have my Coco Chanel 
Soleil de Tan. I actually stopped using this product and I'm removing it from this project. This is the product that was making me break out on my cheeks. Like I have scars still. You can't, I don't know if you can see them, but I have scars because it made me break out so bad. And I was using it down here. I mean, all around my hairline, especially in my cheek area. And it's such a nice product. It feels so silky, but it's just so like it's heavily perfumed. And I, I put it right there. You can barely see it. That's another issue that I have with it. It doesn't show up. It shows up slightly. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I like the product. It's a really nice product. But I think the scent of this, there's so much perfume in it. It just, my skin is just not agreeing with it. And I'm really sad because this is not cheap. So, I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset about that. Yeah. So, I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna use it. Whatever. It is what it is, right? Then I have my Stila little convertible color. This is a blush and lip duo. And I've actually started working into this product. It's I kind of regret putting this product into this project because this product is the kind of product that I reach for when I'm not wearing any foundation. And I just want to rosy up my cheeks. But because I do week I'm doing weekly makeup baskets and I'm doing the makeup use up, I'm finding that I'm wearing found like makeup, full on full face makeup more regularly than usual so i'm not reaching for this product for that reason <laughs> i'm just gonna have to try to put it over top of foundation um just to get the use out of it i have used it as a lip product as well but i just haven't used it enough i have my l'oreal infallible <clears throat> endless pearl shadow and i'm just focusing right here if you can see that dip there's a little bit more of a dip there and uh, I've actually made this shadow work now by using it with a more dense brush. So I've actually been using it with these two brushes right here. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques, which is more dense. This one right here is the Domed Shadow Brush, also from Real Techniques. And it's a lot more dense. And I find that with this shadow, these these have worked very well with these shadows because it blends the product out really well. It doesn't look, it still looks a little bit chalky, but not as horrible as it was looking before. I can't use it with a brush like this. Like it just, it looks very chalky and powdery when I use any kind of like flat shader brush. I have to use it with something uh, a lot more dense. <laughs> because it just blends it out a little bit better and it looks more smooth as this, as opposed to just, I don't know, powder. It wasn't even even. This is a horrible product. I'm not reaching for it as often, but I'm not tired of it yet. So, and I think it's because I'm not reaching for it that often. I'm, I'm gonna keep it in this project still. That's the point, anyways. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible. I started down, where is the mark? Down over here and now I'm up to here. To that golden light let me remove this because then you guys can see i was down to here and now i'm up to here and i only have this little bit left to finish once i'm done <clears throat> with this one right here i will move on to the next pen i don't know why i put two of these in there my camera takes forever to focus <laughs> uh i will move on to the next visibly lift pen uh, after I'm done with this one and my paint pot I'm not gonna do the close-up thing because my camera's taking forever to focus in but my paint pot is I started uh, you know it had a little bit of a dip now there's a bigger dip and then there is uh, I'm working in this particular area right here I've seen that some people try to focus on one little area uh, some of you girls that do project panning so I'm I'm trying to learn from you guys because I don't know what the heck I'm doing uh, just so that I can get down <laughs> I want to see that little pen showing this is I use this all the time and it's just this is gonna take me all year man I don't know what I was thinking and then I have my little uh, pigment right here I have the line right here and you can't really see any progress to be quite honest with you I marked it from last time, but I do have it on today as a highlight. I kind of put it uh, underneath my brows as well. I do use it, but it's a pigment, so it doesn't take very much of it. And uh, let's see. These two glosses, I don't have any progress, honestly. Like this one, the line has not moved at all. 
This one I put over top of my lipstick today, so the line is right there. And I literally like went up a smidge. I'll mark it after this video, but it's just the smallest amount if you can see it right there. I haven't even touched this product. This is the uh, Hourglass little red lip liquid lipstick. And then lastly, let's do this paper right here because I'm already at like 16 minutes, man. I can't keep this these videos short. Ugh. I have my 12, uh, 15 hour primer from Benefit. I have made really good progress with this product. Okay, so moving on to these little items, the Benefit uh, 15 hour primer, I was up here, I'm now down here. It really didn't take very much, uh, like, it didn't take very much use for this product to be, you know, move along. The Maybelline Autumn Lipstick, I have to actually take this product out now because um, it's starting to smell so but anyways I did use it Sephora eyeliner and there's my usage right there so I was up here up here and now I'm down here my Revlon and that one I have a lot of usage so I was up here and now I'm all the way down here. Once this tip is done, I'm just not gonna use it anymore because I can't sharpen it anymore. So I only have that little tip left. So after this, you know, I'm not, I can't use it anymore. I tried a few sharpeners and I can't because this thing is in the way, which is annoying. Then I have my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lipstick. It's so funny because I have used this product and yet there's like the tiniest bit of progress. So, uh, that's, you know, do you see those little lines? Like, dude, I use it, I try to use it over top of almost every lip product. And then I think I'm just going to add this little pencil right here. This is the Mark Mini Mark Market Stick in Cocoa Bean. It's really pretty. I can use it uh, as a liner for my waterline or I can use it as a primer all over my lids. Uh, and then, so this is where I'm basically starting. I'm adding this one in. Just so that I can get it finished out because it's very old. Lastly, these lip glosses. These are going to be very quick because I caught on very late to putting these into hot water. <laughs> so I'm basically starting over with these because I've used them, but I didn't mark them because I didn't know where they were at. So I'm basically starting... I already marked all of these very quickly. I just want to share them with you guys. That is everything, guys. I'm going to try to put up all of the pictures. I'm sorry this video is so long. I can't get it any shorter than freaking 20 minutes, man. Like, that's really upsetting. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.